Okay, you can come into a comfortable cross leg position and either close your eyes or just take a soft gaze towards the floor in front of you. And begin to slow down your breath. Just let your attention come all the way down to the base of your pose. Feel where you are touching the floor or the props beneath you. And as if you were pushing into the floor, lengthen a little bit more all the way up through the top of your head. Without losing any of that height, just take a scan through your body and see if there's anything to release. Could you be here with even less effort? And you're welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you throughout your practice. So let's begin by taking the right arm up. We'll bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow and then take it back as far as you can. And you can move around within the pose, kind of exploring from the inside. <coughs> And then release right arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, and hug it in as close as you can. As you do this, draw back through your right shoulder so you're still square across your chest. And then release, arm out, rotate your thumb to point down, wrap it around behind your back, back of your hand at your waist, interlace fingers at your waist, pull your knuckles around towards the front, elbows go towards one another, just as much as you're able, and then circle your right shoulder. Keeping fingers interlaced, <clears throat> reach both arms back, open up the chest. And you can stay upright or fold forward. And folding might be just dropping your head or coming to the degree that you're able, part way or all the way towards the floor, maybe reaching arms up and back away from you. And just working with your body, finding your limits right where they are. And then release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Lean away from your hands on your knees, drop your chin. Roll your way back up. Let's recross the legs so the other leg is in front or on top. And then take your left arm up, bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow, take it back, drop the ribs, draw the belly in. Feeling around inside the pose. Hmm. left arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, hug it in close, drawing back through your left shoulder. And then release. 
release arm out, rotate thumb to point down, wrap it around. This time when you go to interlace your fingers, try the other thumb on top. Knuckles towards the front, elbows towards one another, and then circle your left shoulder. Keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back. Open up the chest. It can stay here or fold any amount. And then release. Come up. Hands to knees. Round back. Roll your way back up. Let's come on to hands and knees, tabletop. So we'll have hands right under shoulders, knees under hips, fingers spread wide. And we'll start with a few rolls through the spine. Head and tail lifting, and then belly drawing in, rounding. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Now, inhale, arch, and send your right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend up and back. From here, shift your weight forward, bend your elbows straight back, and dip part way or all the way to the floor, pressing up from there. Knee in. Extend. Go forward to dip down. If going all the way down is too much, just go a couple of inches and then push up from there. Knee in. Extend. One more time. Dip down, slow and smooth. Press up. Knee in. Extend and then roll your hip open, reaching toes to the sidewall. You could stay here on two hands or reach your left hand back to catch your foot. Kick your foot into your hand. Little shoulder opening, balance, hip opening, a lot going on. See if you can keep your breath steady, face relaxed while you're doing whatever you're doing. Let's gently release, arm forward, leg back, square off your shoulders and hips, draw the belly in, and lengthen as long as possible through your spine, through your straight arm and straight leg, lifting up away from the supporting hand. And then release, hands and knees, sink back to child's pose. Maybe give that right wrist a little rub or circle. Hmm. Let's come back up onto hands and knees. Respread your fingers, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Again, inhale, lift head and tailbone. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Now, inhale, arch, and send the left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, shift your weight forward and dip part way or all the way to the floor. Press up from there. Knee in. Extend. Go forward to dip down. Press up. Knee in. Extend. One more time. Dip down. Press up. Knee in, extend, and then roll your hip open. 
can stay here on two hands or reach your right hand back, catch your foot, and then kick your foot into your hand, pulling up away from the supporting hand. Gently release, arm forward, leg back, square off, shoulders and hips. Lift the whole thing up, away from the floor, a little bit longer. And then release, hands and knees. Sink back to child's pose. Maybe give that left wrist a little rub or circle. With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left and then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. And then back to center. Let's lift up through table. And into downward facing dog. Tuck the toes. Lift your hips up and back. And here you might start by pedaling out your feet. Bending one knee as you press the opposite heel towards the floor. And go back and forth a couple times, waking up the backs of the legs. And then as you settle onto two feet evenly, you're welcome to have your heels up or down, your knees bent or straight, lengthening the hips even higher, up and away from the hands. And then walk your hands and feet towards one another and let's hang and ragdoll. <sighs> feet hip width apart, parallel. Can bend your knees a little or a lot. Might take a sway or shake out. Hmm. What is there to release here? Bend your knees a little more and slowly roll up, coming all the way up to standing. We'll step up to the front of the mat into mountain pose, Tadasana. Feet can be together or apart. We'll bring hands together at the heart. Let's take a full A-series sun salutation. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen, part way up. Step or hop your feet back, coming through high push-up, lower down, chaturanga. Come into your back bend, and you might take an extra couple breaths in this first one. Could be low or high, cobra or up dog. And then back to down dog. And let's take five deep breaths either in down dog or any other neutral shape. You might come back to child's pose or sitting or onto your forearms or knees.
Last breath here. Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. This time from down dog, take your right leg up. Bend your knee to your chest and start circling this bent right knee, making the biggest circle possible for your hip joint. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle a couple times, big circles, both directions. Take your leg a little higher, and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. All right, towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge. Inhale, arms up. Settle in, sink low. Let's grab the left wrist and take it across for a little side bend. Come over to the other side, grab your right wrist, take it across. And then back to center, interlace fingers behind your back. Lift the chest. Hip slow, heart high. Release arms up. Tip forward, standing splits. Hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. We'll do this with hips square. With the upper body letting go. Last breath here. Step back, warrior one. Drop the back heel, inhale, arms up. Settle in. One more breath. Release, make your way to down dog. You might take a vinyasa, you could just step back or move in any other way. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up, bend your knee in, and start circling this bent left knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle a few times. Pulling the hips up and back as you do. Take your leg a little higher and then left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. And right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge, arms up, sink low. Let's grab the right wrist, take it across, little side bend. Same thing other side. Back to center, 
Interlace fingers behind your back, other thumb on top this time. Release, arms up. Tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to blocks. As best you can, roll that right hip down so it's even with the left. Stretching the right leg as straight and long and high as you can, but trying to find ease through the upper body. Can you let your head drop even more? Last breath here. Big step back. Warrior one, drop the back heel, inhale, arms up, settle in. One more breath here, release. Make your way to a good rest, any movement transition. And then any neutral shape, let and go. Last deep breath in and out. Let's come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Let's take just the right arm up as we inhale. Exhale over to a side bend. Left arm can provide support in whatever way you need. Big reach out. Reach a little further out, come up. Release down, same thing other side. Reach a little further out, come up, release down. Interlace your fingers, press out through your palms, and then take your arms up by your ears. Shoulders drops as arms reach straight, and then rise up onto your toes for a little balance. That could be just a slight lift of the heels, could be coming all the way up or anywhere in between. And then imagine you could keep your head where it is now as you lower your heels to so you grow a little longer as the heels come down. Unlink fingers, push out through the palms and then pull your fingers back towards you. Shoulders drop, but arms really long. And then curl fingertips down and in as if you're trying to touch your own forearm. Keep reaching out and then circle your wrists. A couple big circles, both directions. And then release arms down, let's bend knees and come into chair, Utkatasana. Hips sink low, head lifts high, shoulders low, fingers high. One more breath here. Release, fold forward. Inhaling, flat back. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra, and back to down dog. From down dog, when you are ready, send your right leg high, just one breath. Big step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Let's come into warrior three, shift forward and find your balance. If you wanna make this easier, feel free to keep your torso high and your leg low. If you do wanna tip forward, just keep torso and back leg connected. Supporting leg can be bent or straight. You can take any arm position. Last breath here. Step back, warrior one, just one breath. Release through your movement transition, whatever that is.
from down dog when you're ready left leg sweeps up step forward high lunge arms up warrior three you get to customize the outer shape so you're working with your body finding your appropriate challenge wherever that is feeling where you are Last breath here. Step back, warrior one. One breath, release through your movement transition. Back to a good resting pose. Letting go. One more deep breath in and out. Let's come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling flat back. Exhale fold. Bend your knees, arms up, inhale chair. Exhale straighten. Again, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up, just one breath. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three, one breath. Come back to warrior one. And from here, let's take eagle arms. Right elbow on top of left. If you can get your palms together, do so. If they don't reach, you might grab a thumb or just focus on the elbows. And put some pressure between the arms like you're trying to pull them apart, spreading the upper back. You can lift the chest, come into a little upper back arch. And then shift your weight forward, coming onto the toes, that back foot. Step into Eagle Garudasana. Knee on top of knee. If you can hook your ankle around your calf, do so. If it doesn't reach, just hug it in close. Last breath here. Let's release, unwind, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Feel free to bend the bottom leg or bring your bottom hand to a block. When you're ready, left arm reaches high, rolling open through the left hip. Gaze down will be the easiest for balance, so if you are feeling wobbly, try and keep your gaze down. One more breath here. Let's release. Make your way to down dog, however you want to get there. Just feeling what you are doing, whatever you're choosing. And just taking one thing at a time, feeling where you are now. When you're ready, left leg sweeps up, feeling that. Step forward, high lunge, arms up. Warrior three, one breath. Step back, warrior one. And then let's take eagle arms. Left elbow on top. Lift the heart, sink the hips. Pressure between the elbows, spreading the upper back.
And then shift your weight forward, come onto the toes of that back foot, and step into Eagle, Garudasana, knee on top of knee, deep bend in the supporting leg, long spine. Release, unwind, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Take your time. And just going in the directions you know to go in. Meeting your limits right where they are. And then letting it be like this, however this is. Shouldn't look any different, feel any different. One more breath. Release. Make your way back to a good resting pose. Let and go. Mm, letting what's done be done. Nothing to hold on to, nothing to go over. Mm. Last breath here. Let's come back through down dog and find your way to sitting, however you want to get there. We'll extend the legs forward. Take the flesh of the sit bones back, inch the heels forward. Sit tall and then fold using your hands to support you wherever it's most useful for you. So that could be on the feet, could be something around the feet or on the floor, going towards length, towards folding. And each in breath, just see if there's a little bit more length. Each out breath, is there anything to release? Can you be at your edge and find ease? Inhale to look up. Exhale, release. Let's take soles of the feet together. You can grab your toes or your ankles with that grip, lengthen, and fold. Elbows could push into the legs to help them open a little bit more. Or if it works better for you, you could lean into your hands or elbows. release. Take your time and keep your right leg more or less where it is. Open the left leg out to the side, getting set up for gate pose, parigasana. Right arm can come up and over. And lean onto your left hand or elbow on the inside or outside of that straight leg. Big reach out. 
Grounding down through both sit bones, big yawning stretch through the whole right side. And then let your head fall towards the floor and take the right arm out and down until your right shoulder pulls down, stretching right side of the neck. So head is falling one way, shoulder pulling the other way. And you might lift or lower your chin, kind of exploring the different parts of your neck, finding what's interesting for you. Keep your head hanging and relaxed as you press into the bottom hand to come up and then use that hand to help lift your head. Let's switch the legs. And we'll take the left arm up and over. Big reach out. Hmm. And then let your head fall towards the floor. Take the top arm out and down until your shoulder pulls down, stretching left side of your neck. And press into the bottom hand, come up, and then use that hand to help lift your head. We'll open both legs wide, Upavishta Konasana, wide angle pose. So feet and knees pointing straight up. If you notice they're falling one way or the other, keep bringing them straight up. You can use your hands on the floor behind you, helping to keep your spine nice and tall. And if this is already a big stretch, you may not need to go anywhere. Just breathing here. If you're not at your maximum stretch yet, lean forward until you find it. Could be right away on the hands, or you might come lower. And just go towards length, towards folding. If you did fold, walk your way back up. Let's lean back to draw the legs in. A little shake out there. And then come back onto your back. Bring both knees in, little circle or rock. Massaging the lower back, top of the hips into the floor. And we'll get set up for a couple back bends, starting with bridge. So you can drop your feet to the floor, hip width apart parallel, try and have your feet right under your knees, and then press your feet down to lift your hips up. Once your hips are high enough, interlace your fingers behind your back. And you can kind of rock side to side to shrug your shoulders underneath you, spreading upper back and lower back away from one another. <sighs> Take your arms out of your way, roll down, and rest. If you would like to come up again, come up again. If you don't want to, don't. So listening to your body, you could take 
one or two or many more back bends. You could just enjoy the rest. Whatever you're choosing to do, feeling that fully. If you are still backbending, there's no rush. If you are done backbending, you could move on to a counter stretch. Happy baby, grabbing the soles of the feet, and pressing your knees towards the floor, releasing your back, opening up the backs of the legs. Drop your feet to the floor. We'll cross the right ankle above the left knee. Reach your hands through, grab the left leg and hug it in, stretching the right outer hip. And as you do this, see if you can drop your shoulders, drop your chin so the back of your neck is nice and long. Mm. Drop the left foot to the floor, straighten the right leg up, flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times both directions. And then release and switch. Cross your left ankle above your right knee. Reach your hands through, grab the right leg, hug it in. And as you do this, just check for any unnecessary effort or gripping and keep letting that go. Release, let's drop the right foot to the floor, straighten the left leg up, flex and point your foot. Circle your ankle, a couple big circles both directions. And then drop this straight left leg all the way along the floor. Bring your right knee into your chest. And then guide your right knee across your body for a spinal twist. Giving yourself the kind of twist that feels good for you right now. Lots of ways to do this. You can always add movement or touch. And then rolling back onto your back to switch. Bring your left knee in, drop the right leg long. And then guide your left knee across. Come back onto your back, bring both knees in one more time and just check in with yourself what's needed to feel complete in this practice. Is there any final pose or stretch or part of your body that needs something before you come into your final resting pose? Can you take your time with any last pose or stretch, feeling whatever you're choosing to do. When 
nothing else is needed. You can get comfortable in your final resting pose. Hmm. Allowing the weight of your body to settle into the support behind you. Releasing any control over your breath. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, gently waking your body up again. And let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles, eventually stretching out long through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. Roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. Use your hands to help you up to sitting. Bring hands together at the heart. And just take a moment to silently thank yourself for your practice. And you might let that gratitude expand out to the people and circumstances that make it possible for you to be here. And that could extend far and wide. Maybe even sending gratitude and well wishes to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me today.